Welcome to the journey of defining your personal style using the three word method, a transformative approach created by stylist Allison Bornstein. In this video, we together are going to go through the discovery phase. We're going to analyze our current wardrobes and we're going to really think about where we want our wardrobe and our style to go in the future. And that is all centered around figuring out what our three words are. Each word in this three word method has a very different meaning to it and way of finding that word. And it can be constantly changing. I'll also share with you my key takeaways of this method and if I think that it's going to be helpful for defining our personal style in the future. Now this approach was created by Alison Bornstein and she is absolutely a gem in my eyes. So let me share a little bit more about her with you and a little bit about her brand new book, Wear It Well. And in that book, we're going to find a little bit more as well about the three word method. Alison Bornstein is a New York based fashion stylist renowned for her personal and approachable take on fashion styling, which we all love. With an eye for creating effortlessly chic ensembles, Alison has made a name for herself, not just among celebrities and editorial shoots, but with everyday individuals seeking to refine their personal style. I have seen a few YouTubers that I absolutely adore actually book personal styling sessions with Alison, which I find really, really cool because we can always be learning from our wardrobe and getting takes from stylists and experts in the outside. Her philosophy centers around the belief that fashion should be empowering, accessible, and uniquely tailored to one's individual style and personality. Through her three word method, Allison has really found a simple yet more impactful strategy for us to really define our own personal style and work to build it in the future. So in all of this, Allison is truly just one of those people that wants to inspire us. And I think she's done that across many different platforms. And she most recently released a book in 2023 and this gal has has their hands on it. It's called Wear It Well and chapter six is all centered around the three word method. Now inside this book, there's going to be so much more guidance about personal style and really figuring out how you want to wear your inside out and in your wardrobe. So I highly recommend the purchase. I'll link it down below. But without further ado, let's dissect chapter six. At its core, the three word method is a simple yet profound process that distills the essence of your own personal fashion sense down into three words. And each word has a unique unique purpose. The first word is more of a practical word. What do you currently have in your wardrobe that you grab for all the time? We'll talk about exercises in just a moment's time. The second word is your aspirational word. What direction do you want your wardrobe to go? This doesn't mean burn your wardrobe to the ground. It basically just means how can we be adding pieces in that really are pulling you towards them? And how can we look at your vision boards and kind of bring that into your own closet staples? And the third is your emotional word. This is more the idea of how do we want our clothes to make us feel? Do we want to feel powerful? Do we want to feel sassy? Do we want to feel sexy? It's all about defining that own word for you because as we'll talk a little bit more in the third word chapter of this video, sexy might mean something totally different to you than it does to me. So let's dive right in, discover our three words and figure out how this fits in with our style narrative. The first phase is the discovery phase. So the first question we're asking ourselves is how does one even begin to define our personal style? Well, in the book in chapter six, Allison gives us basically a word wheel. And this gives us just a couple of ideas of words that we could be using to define our personal style. Now throughout this video, some of them may be the same, some of them may be different, but I've jotted down a bunch of words as well in each chapter. So you can get even more blood out of this stone as we continue to figure out words. The discovery phase is all about that practical choice in our everyday wardrobe. So the first exercise is to pull out every single thing in your wardrobe that you wear all the time. And what I found really interesting when learning more about Allison and her process when she deals with clients is one thing that she said is that sometimes the things that we grab for all the time aren't necessarily our favorite pieces. They are just those pieces that we find in our comfort zone. So for me, it would be turtlenecks. There's some pairs of jeans that I absolutely adore. But when I think about where I want my style to go, it's a little bit more feminine than that. There's also a couple of things to consider here when it comes to lifestyle. We're talking about our practical work. Word. So do we want to define the style of our every single day all the time? For me, that's what I really want to do because I don't live
live my day in scrubs or I don't go to an office where I have to dress a certain way that may not align with my personal style goals. For you, you've got to think about that. Am I defining my personal style just on the weekends and the evenings? Or is this something, a more 24 seven type of thing that I want to feel my personal style every day because I have the capability to. I love this exercise because it really reveals our subconscious choices. So even though we may not aspire to have the things that we choose every day in our style repertoire, it really does define kind of what we're grabbing for and what we're most comfortable in. So without a doubt, that should be considered to be part of our personal style and we should almost lean in a little bit more to that. So now that you've thought about pulling all of those things out or you've mentally kind of pulled them out, it's now time to analyze. And by analyzing, we're gonna choose our first word. I'm just gonna read a couple of these words out to you, but I would love nothing more if by the end of this video, you could comment down below your three words because I think it would be such a fun conversation piece. And I would also love to know if the three words that you chose are the ones that you expected, because for me, I had chosen three words without even knowing that they all had different meaning behind them. So I'm super curious to see whether or not my three words are the same or different. So here's some examples of words. Casual, minimal, classic, tailored, bohemian, sporty, comfortable, functional, edgy, preppy, monochromatic, layered, vintage, eclectic, professional, structured, effortless, androgynous, coordinated, feminine, urban, oversized, rugged, sleek, nautical, neutral, graphic, textured, natural, or flowy. Did any of those raise little like antenna for you? So hopefully you've got an idea of what your first word might be. Let's move to the second. If you remember from the introduction, the second word is our aspirational word. So this is where we really see our style going. And the way that we kind of figure out what our second word is, is again to analyze, but it's not our wardrobes this time. It's our Pinterest boards, it's our Instagram saves, it's maybe videos that we've saved on TikTok of outfits that we're just like, ooh, yeah, I love that. This is what we are going to analyze next. Something I want you to know about your aspirational style and that I learned from Allison in one of her videos, which I absolutely adored because it really gets you thinking, is the fact that we are not just going to be adding these pieces to our wardrobe. We're kind of incorporating them with what we already have. And the idea is to build that sustainable wardrobe that we want to wear year after year. We may not just be purchasing pieces like this or completely going out and buying new wardrobes, but this piece I feel like is super helpful to me when I'm going shopping. Here's another list of words that might spark some interest here. Is your board chic, sophisticated, bold, artistic, trendy, elegant? Avant-garde, glamorous, timeless, contemporary, vibrant, polished, adventurous, couture, earthy, innovative, luxurious, rustic, whimsical, tailored, dramatic, minimalist, ethereal, statement, romantic, industrial, futuristic, thematic, handcrafted or bespoke. Now, all of these words can also be part of your first word, second word, or third word. I'm just throwing a bunch at you. The next point I wanna make that I learned from Allison in her videos, I just love this girl, seriously. She is so phenomenal. And she posts a lot of really cool thought pieces. Is that your first word, your second word, your first word, your third word could be completely contradictory and that's okay. Maybe you have a ton of oversized clothes and that kind of defines your first word. This is from a video I was watching of hers. And then the second word is actually fitted. Like your vision board is always fitted clothes. It's okay if those counteract because you can mix and match pieces like that in your wardrobe and it actually bodes for more interesting style. Because by having contrasting words, it could actually make for a really cool outfit and great personal style. If you have never created a vision board before, let me show you how. This is one of my favorite favorite things to do. Now, if you did watch my wardrobe declutter, it's going to be very similar to a section in that video, but if you haven't seen it or you need a little refresher, this is how I created my 2023 vision board for style using Pinterest and Canva. Canva is one of my greatest tools. And so what I do is I go in and I use the YouTube thumbnail already preset sizing. I always just label my things because it's really nice to create these year over year to see maybe how your style has changed. And that's definitely something I've started to do to open the snipping tool on a Mac, you do shift command three. It's so easy. And as soon as you get it down, it's going to be one of your favorite things. I promise I even do this for when I'm kind of designing a room in my home, but let's get back to wardrobe. I type in things like classic wardrobe, elegant wardrobe, feminine, 
wardrobe. I mean, all those words that we've already talked about, but also I direct it towards fall. So if you don't have any Pinterest boards started yet, you can be classic fall style, things like that, that will really start to kind of come up um, and populate. And the more that you interact with apps like this, the more you're gonna see this kind of thing. So I actually already have some boards set out. So I was kind of pulling from some of the boards that I had already pre-created in mine. You can follow my Pinterest at below the blonde. And then once you have snipped all of those, they're gonna end up on your desktop. And I just grab all of them. I populate them into Canva and I pull them onto my board. And then I just start to play. I just start to shift things around and there will be some photos that you love the most, some that you're like, okay, I kind of just wanna pull this accessory, etc. And you just move them around and then kind of create create a board. And one extra thing that I really love to do is to pull in shapes. Now the circle shape, I pull that in, I resize it, and then all you have to do is make sure you have your arrow tool and press option on your keyboard and make sure it's clicked and drag to the side and it will just immediately copy. Or you can do control C, control V for copy and paste. And then I basically take the eyedropper tool and I will eyedrop some of the things around the board. Now I noticed this one was kind of blending in so I added a little outside round white um, kind of outline and I ended up doing that on all of them because I like the way it looked. And then I just eyedropper tooled around the whole board to get my fall palette and add it in my title. You can then save it from there. It's very easy right to your desktop if you ever need to refer back to it. Okay, so I had a bit of a wandering focus the last time I filmed this, so we're gonna take the end of this video again. But when you're finished your vision board, you can either save it to your desktop and another thing I would recommend is doing the dimensions for a phone, the nine by 16 because then you can actually have it on your phone screen background and then anytime you go shopping you can change your background to be that one and it'll just guide those decisions a little bit more the thing that I've realized the most in now being in my 30s versus something that I definitely didn't abide by in my 20s is that I can like something and at the same time it can be not for me and that vision board has really helped guide those decisions and those purchases the last word might be my favorite and I'm actually glad that that focus wandered because it gave me a couple of weeks to really think about my three words the last word is your emotional word your clothing should make you feel really good whatever that is to you and having that emotional word of how do we want our clothes to make us feel? Well, that is definitely the ticket to building a wardrobe that we love and that truly defines our personal style. A couple words here that I absolutely adore, confident, empowered, relaxed, joyful, serene, playful, sexy, strong, youthful, rebellious, cozy, inspired, fearless, graceful, secure, intuitive, peaceful, sassy, liberated, majestic, quirky, svelte, optimistic, mystical, authentic, daring, invincible, nostalgic, radiant, and lighthearted. Allison actually points this out in a couple of her videos, and this is one of the teachings that I really soaked in from watching, is that your meaning of powerful could be totally different from my meaning of powerful. One thing that I find really cool about this practice is that it really is rooted in sustainable fashion. It's all about choosing pieces that we know we're gonna wanna wear year after year. But if you are a girly that loves a trend and really follows those trend reports, this actually really does work with that too. For example, one of the biggest colors of the year for fall and winter has been that cherry red. I feel like we were really starting to see it in Italian girl summer, like those little pops of red. And you can choose something that is very aligned with your three words, but then integrate that trend in there. And then hopefully you love it so much, you wear it year after year. So I feel like following this three word method really kind of takes away the dirty word that is following trends. But then on the other side of the coin, leather could be very much a big style of the year. And I feel like it has been for the past couple of years. And for me, if you guys saw my wardrobe clear out, you will see it is just simply not my style anymore and by knowing my three words and decluttering my wardrobe it made it so much easier to kind of make the cut that needed to be made decluttering is one of the best things to do after figuring out your three words okay so let's wrap it up I know I have the gift of gab here are my key takeaways from the three word method I have so enjoyed 
mulling these over the past little bit. The first takeaway is personal style clarity. And I think that this key takeaway is a good one because this is why I wanted to go into this practice. I wanted to get super clear about where my style was going. And I wanna be someone who has style, doesn't just purchase fashion, if that makes sense. This one we kind of just touched on, and that is to inform our choices. The fact that I could add something to my wardrobe that not only is intentional and a reflection of my personal style makes me so excited because I don't want to have a ton of things anymore. I want to have purposeful, intentional items that just make me feel good. This is one you may not have thought of, but it is so simple, and that is wardrobe efficiency. Now that I've started to really dive into this process, mixing and matching things in my wardrobe is easier than ever because things just go together and it is also really really fun just to play some days and put together outfits that I've never put together before. Shopping your own wardrobe becomes a lot more fun because things just work and wardrobe efficiency has now become one of my biggest key takeaways from this method. It's also really helped my impulse purchases because now I am thinking so much more mindfully of will this work with what I have in my wardrobe currently versus oh I love the way that this ad that works in this marketing machine. The emotional connection that I have to my clothes is so much stronger. As I said a little bit earlier, my third word is joyful. And whether that's something that's black or a super bright dopamine flowery print, my clothing just makes me feel joyful. And I love that. This one is super important and that is evolving identity. You don't have to choose your three words and have it cemented on your gravestone um, until the end of time because style is always evolving. And and your three words can evolve with you and there's absolutely no shame in the game. I had different three words than I have right now sitting here. The ones that I thought that I would have before actually learning that each of these words actually has a deeper meaning behind it. And I love that. And sometimes I'll be walking down the street and I'll think of another word. I know that sounds super lame, but it's actually true um, that I was thinking about my first word the other day. And originally it was confident, but I actually think it might be cozy. The practical application is such a good key takeaway because right now, today, watching this video or during this video, you could be decluttering your wardrobe based on your three words. There is so much practical application that can be done right now. This one's so fun because it's based a little bit in trends and the ever evolving cycle and how exhausting it can be to keep up with the Joneses, for example, and that is confidence in individuality. When I see someone with such a specific personal style that I don't see every single day copied over and over and over again, I am drawn to that person. I'm curious about them. I wanna know about their life. I wanna know where they found that vintage jacket. I wanna know a little bit more. And I feel like this one so specifically has really, really started to be a bigger part of the conversation versus a buying big trends, buying big fashion houses. It's a lot more about style over fashion. And it's always nice to have mindful consumption. Of course, we wanna think about our purchases because you work really hard for your money and to buy something that absolutely brings you so much joy is the best feeling. I bought a pair of boots the other day and I am so in love with them. They are so comfortable. They are so chic. They are so beautiful. And I just know I'm gonna wear them over and over and over again. And that cost per wear is gonna go down, 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 but I'm gonna love it every single time. That mindful consumption makes me feel so good. The last two, so the second last one is visual harmony. When I look into my wardrobe and everything is cohesive, that's such a nice feeling. And the last one is community and sharing. It's so fun to share three words and to be part of a conversation, especially when it comes to something as artistic as finding your three words and crafting your personal style. So based on that, I would love to know your three words down below. That would bring me so much joy and I would love to start a conversation conversation. So it's now time for me to share my three words with you in this community and sharing. I have decided that my three words are cozy, feminine, and joyful. And right now I can honestly picture the wardrobe that I'm looking to create and that makes me feel great. It's so wonderful to learn new perspectives and new methods. And Allison, thank you so much for introducing us to the three word method. I actually have my book here as well. And this is Allison's book, Wear It Well, Reclaim Your Closet and re Rediscover the Joy of Getting Dressed. It is such a beautifully laid out book and diving into this has been a lot of fun. I will link this down below. Again, huge shout out to Allison and thank you guys so much for watching this video. I can't wait to hear what you're three words are. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.